what would you like other husbands to know about the validity of the business? Obviously, I mean, we're all here, so you can see it for yourself, the validity of the business. I mean, like I, like, like I said, it, it's hard not to when your spouse is so passionate about what it is that they're doing. And so then you draw that energy for yourself and you want to be a part of it any way you can. So that's, I mean, right there in itself, that's why we do it together. And we've been doing it together ever since the start. And you made a good point about supporting and stuff. You wanted to do the same thing for me for almost 20 years when I was out traveling the world in the military. And there was no way, in, there was no way that I was not going to support her with this, knowing the passion that she had for it. So. I guess the validity is, look around. <laughs> Any advice, David? Yeah, you know, like she's, Angie said, she's been involved in a lot of different companies and our shelves were filled with lots of things that didn't really help or, <laughs> but she, you know, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but the paychecks when they started coming in, I was like, this is kind of a, this is, this is a big deal. And then I really started belief when I started coming to events with her and the way Plexus uh, treated their, their uh, ambassadors, um, the way they treated us on the trips and things that we had taken. And I started and trying to encourage my kids because I'm all into multiple streams of income and, and trying to get them to see some of the things that we were doing and try and, and the people that we could help together. Um, achieve some of their dreams, so. And I know you mentioned a family business, a family legacy business, which I love, so how many how many family members you have three, or are we up to four now? What well, we have three. Our 18-year-old daughter, she is a VIP customer still. She's going to college because when she wants to work, we, we want her to work the business when it's good timing for her. So, you know, for our family, everybody focuses on their strengths. And right now, my 18-year-old daughter, her strength is coming home and stealing most of my product. So, but you know, she does love beach. She'll always be in the photos. She'll be in the videos and all those kinds of things. But yeah, so we do have three working the business currently. Awesome. Yeah. And Amber Sadies, what do we have going yeah, on? Yeah, we have three actively working the business as well. And you guys work your account together. So that's like your yourselves, your two daughter, your daughter and daughter-in-law. Uh, so my daughter, two of my daughter-in-laws and one of our daughters actually works the okay. business. Fantastic, fantastic. And the favorite quote, I have to throw this in unless you're gonna ask about it, but when my daughter started working the business, or our daughter, in March, I think it was, because her husband um, was watching our daughter-in-law get be super successful and make it to Emerald, and he said in his mind, he's like, she's making more money than I am. And if I know that, my wife knows that, by golly, we're doing this business. And so they started the business too. And do you guys ever talk to prospects as a couple? Can you talk a little bit about whether you leverage each other during those conversations? I would say as far as talking to prospects as a couple, I don't really let Josh talk very much, so it's mostly just me. Um, but yes, we definitely do. We both have the same passion for this business together. We will, you know, we'll kind of fall on each other's strengths and weaknesses. If I'm having trouble with something, or he'll come in, or you know, he's really just another person that just validates on why these products are so amazing, and he is not afraid to show that, like he's just as crazy as I am. I mean, I just had a float in the parade and I made him drive it, so he hit behind the side. But yes, we definitely do. You know, we talk to people together all the time because we're all in 100% invested. How about you guys? <clears throat> yeah, I would say absolutely. We don't necessarily plan it that way, but because we do have a brick and mortar business, we have a lot of people that come into our office and he's always, you know, trying to encourage people to come in and talk to me, or he'll start the conversation with them and then say, oh, you should talk to my wife about this. So we just kind of play off of one another in that sense. I love that. You should talk to my wife about this. That is a great recruiting line for any husband out there. That's all you have to remember. You should talk to my wife about what she does. You should talk to her. So I love that. Last bit of advice you have for any couples thinking in terms of working together. I would say, okay, again, it's me, no, <laughs> I would say focus on your strengths. 
Your husband is not going to do everything that you're doing. I love posting on social media 850 times a day. Josh posts once a week. You know, he's not going to nat- Okay, I know. I'm throwing him under the bus a lot up here. Um, he's not going to post naturally. That's just not what he's going to do. So his strengths, they're coaching. He actually does our team calls, so they're pretty incredible. You know, so we just focus on each other's strengths within the business, and that has really just, that's really helped us thrive. Right, uh, like I said, there's there's something that, that you can offer to the business that helps strengthen it as a whole. Um, I mean, you look at any business, even brick and mortar, it does, it's more than just you doing it. You need to have other people to help handle kind of the day-to-day. And so I, not only do I handle the day-to-day sometimes, but like you said, I do the team calls. I love doing the team calls. It gives me a chance to talk, and she's not there. <laughs> I like to do the coaching. You know, I, I spent the majority of my life training soldiers, and I love that aspect of bringing people together and and making them or helping them um, achieve whatever it is that they're that they're trying to achieve. So, like I said, we have we play up our strengths, and it really comes together as a, a full effective business. And I'm more like follow the systems, get to work, and go. Very straight to the point. So, all right, good. So, leverage your strengths. Love that, Angie David. Well, I was just telling David, he could start doing our team calls. I mean, if Josh does it, uh, that's a great idea. He's like, this is hard now. Um, yeah, I would just say that the support that you get from your spouse, at least what I'm getting from him, boosts me up every single day. Because just the reality is there are times when I'm just like, I wonder why I want to keep doing this or not. And he's like, think of all the people that you would be letting down if you walked away. Not not that I'm walking away or anything like that, but I'm just saying like, there are days when you just have to pick yourself up and keep going. And so the encouragement and the strength that I draw from him is, it's just unmatched by anything. So I, I love that, that we can work that together. Excellent. David, you want the last yeah, word? You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, just we've been life partners for 39 years. And business partners for at least over half of that, um, and, and she's been supporting me in my career. And I would just, I, I tried to get, you know, some of the guys that are involved in Plexus, and, and I, I really, you know, try to focus on them supporting their wives. Um, guys don't like change. We don't like our diets change. We don't like, uh, and, and you know, so I've had to grow uh, myself through this journey. So, uh, but just uh, being there to support her now that she's supported me and our family for so many years, it's, it's, it's her time now. Excellent. Well, thank you all very 